Good morning. We had a extremely windy night here in Bighorn Canyon, and I think I may have slept like four hours. You were farting up a storm. Is that what you're talking about? Excuse me? It was so windy in here. <laughs> no, I was not. Uh, yeah, it was pretty windy. Uh, but it's all good. rocking. So. The whole. Everything. Wow, 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 wow. The reason she's so wah 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 is because we don't have coffee yet. Yeah. So getting back to life on the road, we're having to adjust a little bit. Used to be able to walk into our friend's house and there's a pot of coffee right there. Usually already made, sometimes we'd have to make it. You just grab the pot, pour it into a cup, drink, 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 drink. Oh, I want some more coffee. Pour it into the cup, drink, 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 drink. So, oh, I want some more coffee. Let's make it in a big old pot. Yeah, we don't have that here. Yep, that's not how it works this when is we're what camping. We have. We are a little old school Teapot. meets new school because we got a really cool little coffee. But I do love our coffee maker. Oh yeah, it's pretty cool. You don't have it out though. Nope. So. Because I'm half asleep. Yeah, we already used that excuse once, Lindsay. We can't use it again. My caramba. What a mess. What a mess, we got stuff everywhere. Is it puppy She's gonna need help getting down. Which I'll do is... <laughs> yeah. What are you looking for? Where'd you put everything? The coffee? Yeah, the thing in the filter. Hopefully we have it all. Uh, hopefully. Otherwise, you're going to be one cranky SOP. Caramel Chris coffee. Yeah. So this is our cool machine. A coffee maker. It goes a little bit like this. Take the filter. Put it into the filter holder. Take your AeroPress. Twist the filter in place. Voila. Set it over whatever you're going to put your coffee in. Voila. Take your ground coffee. This thing will only make two scoops, two cups. So we put one nice scoop and another nice scoop. And maybe just a little bit more for looks. I like our coffee strong. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to boil us some coffee, boil us some water. Whistling Dixie. Turn the stove off. Now just drizzle the hot water over. already hear it dripping through. Alright, so we just let gravity do its thing. While it is dripping, I can get the dog. Thunder, you ready to get up? <laughs> She's looking at you. Yeah. She's saying, why are you being stupid? You gonna get her? Yep. Okay. Another part of our morning routine. Never sat of bed. Yes, our dog sleeps in our bed, but she also has a bed of her own. We've got this nice routine where I get a hug every morning. <laughs> I get a puppy hug. Ready, sweet thing? Ready? Yeah. So she was ready to come down. <laughs> she usually, oh. she sometimes fights it. Spang. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. You got side? And we both go outside to pee. You both do? <laughs> yeah, sa uh. save on the black tank anytime you can. <laughs> it is windy. Nice 
waking up to this in your backyard. Love it. <clears throat> hey, lady. Oh. You're on camera. Oh, hi. <laughs> I just wanted to say one of my favorite things about camping, about being on the road again, is that breakfast consists of bananas, <laughs> apples, and granola. cliff bars, <laughs> and, and granola. Though I do make breakfast, but since today was, I guess, kind of a weird morning. So when we were stationary, so. fried eggs and hash browns. Yeah. And, I usually make oh, breakfast yum. oatmeal. So, so we're back on the road again today. The plan, the plan for today is we're gonna go look for some sheep. Cheap. 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 We're gonna go look for some cheap and maybe some horses. Yes, we saw horses, some horses yesterday. <laughs> no, you can't make them show up. There's no way you can make an animal show up unless you go to a zoo. Do you want to go to a zoo? No. Okay. I don't. So we're in the wild. So we're going to look for wild horses. We're going to look for Jeep. We're going to do a quick little, uh, well, maybe we'll do a quick little hike. Maybe we'll do a quick little drive to a viewpoint because the wind is terrible. So yeah. we don't want to get blown off a cliff. But it is gorgeous out here in the canyon. We want to show you what that looks like. And uh, what else are we going to do? Oh, all roads lead to Billings. So we're, we're going go to Billings. go up to Billings. There's a chance we don't have cell service now. There's a chance there's a uh, discount tire in Billings, which is great. We love discount tire. Shout out the discount tire. If you're traveling full time in the United States, you should have discount tires because they're located in like 37 of the 50 states. So that means that you can stop in any of them, get your tires rotated, balance. We have the little insurance plan on our tires, so if one gets blown out really bad, we get it replaced. So, yes, this is a promotional plug because it's one of the things that we really do love about traveling in the United States. And we're going to miss when we went to uh, Canada, we missed it. And when we get to Mexico, we're going to miss it again. So, anyway, we're going to look for a discount tire. If not there, there's one in Helena, which we may end up at tonight. We're going to run into Billings because all roads lead to Billings from here. And then We'll head out from Billings and uh, head north and west, right? Yep. Head up toward Glacier and uh, see what's going on up there. Hopefully it's not crappy weather everywhere, yeah. but sometimes it is. So just got to make do. Let's go find us some Jeep. Sheep. Cheap. Not very big horn, if you ask me. This is the Bighorn Canyon, so you expect to see some bighorn sheep when you're there. Sheep. I can't say sheep normal. Lindsay's got me saying sheep. So it's good to see bighorn sheep. Sheep. It, she, sheep. 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 How do you say sheep? How do you say sheep? By licking your butt? I'm not getting out of the truck because we're at a, like, a pretty steep incline, so just hanging out. So according to Lindsay, the Bighorn Canyon is the third largest in the United States. Since she's not here right now to defend herself, I will just assume that that's true. Um, of course, the first largest is the Grand Canyon, which we've been to and we're headed back toward. And then there is Palo Duro Canyon in Texas. If you haven't been there, check out the link and the description we were there it's spectacular definitely worth the visit it's just outside of amarillo so we have now seen the one two three largest canyons in the united states 
kind of all by, well, Grand Canyon wasn't by accident, but Paul Oduro definitely was, and so was this. So anyway, this is a pretty spectacular canyon, definitely worth checking out if you're in the area. Of course, you get the wild horses and the Jeep and, you know, all the other cool stuff to see too. So awesome place to come. Lindsay wanted to pull over at this place, and uh, so the dog and I have been waiting for like 20 minutes. Turns out. Yes, it's much, much better. Yes, sir. Anyway, we'll leave you to it, and we'll okay. be seeing you off and on. Mountain Mama, same thing. This is Linda. Yeah. It's taking so long. <laughs> I'm looking at all the pictures. So the horses. Okay. Yep. All right. That's always horses. Mm -hmm. we made it to Discount Tire and Billings, so we're about to roll this bad boy in there. It's always fun to watch them work on it, because it doesn't go up on a lift. Why is the camera wet? I don't know. Did it get rained on? Is it raining now? It was raining earlier. It might still be raining, but I haven't been outside. It's too cold. So it's cold and it's raining outside. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Montana. Yeah. The end of September. Yep. Didn't really do much today. No, um, drove a whole lot. Drove, not a whole lot. Two hours to Billings. Oh, I guess it wasn't. It just seemed like it. Yeah, it did seem like a long time. Lots of rain. Yeah. What's the sound over here? It sounds like our water bottles are on fire. Uh, it's the generator. Oh, we're running the generator too. Imagine that. No solar, so in order to keep powered up, we had to turn the generator on. Because we have to work. Because we have to work. So, yeah, we're trying to keep warm. Fan needs heat. battery. I mean, the heat needs battery and the lights. And the laptops. Need battery and the laptops need battery. So this is learning to be very efficient with your power when you're living out of a truck camper or an RV. So we had to be creative with how to keep everything juiced up when the sun's not shining and when we're boondocking. Oh, we're boondocking. Forgot about that. And we've got a surprise for you. In the morning. As soon as there's daylight, if there's daylight. What a surprise. I'm excited. Lindsay's is excited. Totally uh, unplanned. Does it have to do with a horse? No. Oh, really? No. Something that gets you excited? It doesn't have to do with a horse? Does it have to do with a steak? Nope. No? It doesn't have to do with a steak. Okay. Well, now I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Are you looking forward to tomorrow? Click like if you are looking forward to tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you won't see this for a week. We'll already be gone. <laughs> Hit subscribe. Hit subscribe. <laughs> if you think I'm cheesy. <laughs> Say goodnight. Good night. Good night.